Let me drink some smart water before I start this video because you know I'm trying to get smart. Ah, y'all should sponsor me. Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie, and I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, I'm here with my 2022 review. So, with that being said, keep to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be, and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So in today's video, it's going to be like an update video slash my 2022 review video. The reason why I'm making this video is because recently, if you guys did not know, I was trying to do Vlogmas slash Wrongmas. So basically, that was what I tried to upload a video from November 30th or 31st all the way to December 31st. So basically, a whole month of content from me. So we started off Wrongmas very, very strong. We went like a week uploading videos and then i got sick i got very very sick i know i don't think it was covid or anything i think it was just the flu because i got to the point where i got very sick while i was just in bed um very very hot very very cold i was throwing up um yeah i got very very sick so naturally i had to stop wongness just because i wasn't able to just film i wasn't able to record and i didn't have a lot of videos pre-recorded so with that being said that made me realize that for next year's wongness for 2023 wongness i have to i have I have to pre-record a lot more videos before because I could not just film a video the day before and edit it and upload it the next day because that took a lot out of me. I'm not going to lie. So just stay tuned for next year's long list because next year, now I know what to do and I'm going to just execute it better next year. But going back to my sickness, after I got sick, I'm not going to lie, I fell out of motivation. I felt unmotivated i just felt very off i felt very weak as well because the time i was sick it was like three to four days while i just was sick i was in my bed in my bathroom throwing up and it was just like terrible i didn't eat i lost 10 pounds because i was sick um so yeah that was fun but with that said after i got better I just kind of lost motivation. I started overthinking more and just because it could have just been the stress of a lot of different things. But yeah, I just felt out of it. I felt like not myself. Like honestly, like today, I wasn't going to film and upload a video, but I had to stay true because I've uploaded a video every single Wednesday this year and I was like, I have two weeks left and I, I'm going to finish strong. I don't know, like after I got sick, I just wasn't motivated to film. Um, but the one thing I will say is that I've been uploading YouTube shorts every single day for this year. So yeah, instead of getting full length video, you guys have been getting YouTube shorts. So I hope that makes up kind of, but yeah, just next year it's going to be all full length videos. And even with the full length videos, you guys still might get YouTube shorts next year, but we'll just see what happens because we still have a full year from now. But yeah, what I've been overthinking about is just life you know what i mean i'm getting older i turned 21 in 2022 um and a lot of people are going to say that's not old but i feel like i've just been getting old growing and just overthinking because let's be real as a young college student we tend to overthink and that's what i've been overthinking about since i'm graduating next year in 2023 um yeah but you know i just decided that i can't sit here and feel sad for myself or anything it's just time for me to just, it's my year, next year is my year. I know everyone says next year is my year, but here's why I feel like next year is my year. My birthday is February 23rd, 2001. Next year is 2023, and I graduate in 2023. So I feel like next year is a big year for me. I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself because I always put a lot of pressure on myself. That's one thing that I tend to do. I tend to put way more pressure than I should on myself, but hey, I like the pressure, even though it do begin to me sometimes, but hey, I expect nothing but the best for me. I expect nothing but greatness for myself. So next year is going to be a good year, and I believe it. I'm going to make it a good year because, like I said, I don't want to sit here and feel sad for myself because that's not going to do anything. Of course, I'm going to have bad days, but I'm hungry, I'm driven, and I just want to grind. I want to work hard and make my dreams a reality. And that's what I'm going to do next year. So with that being said, enough of the sad stuff. Um, and at the end of this video, I'll be telling you guys my plan for next year. And yeah, with that being said, we're just going to start with the 2022 review. So to start things off, I would definitely have to say my favorite moments from this past year 
were definitely my vacations that I had, the one during the beginning of this year and then the end of this year. The one I had during the beginning of this year is I went to Hilton Head with my friends, and the one at the end of this year, I went on a cruise to the Bahamas, Jamaica, and Haiti with my family. Those two vacations made me realize that I really want to travel more. Like for example, like the cruise, I was able to go to three countries within the span of a week. So that was a very unique experience and that made me love cruising because I'm not gonna lie, lately I've been watching a lot of like cruise videos on YouTube. So I want to like get more into traveling on cruises and just traveling to other states because I really thought about it. I've only been to a couple states in my life and like I want to go visit them all, you know what I mean? And I'm still so young, I want to do a lot of traveling. So yeah, this year made me realize that I really do enjoy traveling. So something else that happened in 2022 was that I was able to be in my first short film, the lead in my short film for Kennesaw State University's film club. And I was able to be in my first short film and it was just a very, very good experience. And we won our contest, so I felt like that was a good experience. and. Yeah, a lot has happened in 2022. A lot of growth, a lot of learning, a lot of new things. Like, for example, the short film. Um, after that short film, I was in my second short film. So, like, you know, we out here. We out here doing big things. And more is to come in 2023. So in 2022, I've also learned a lot more about myself. I've done a lot more growing because, like I said, I did turn 21. I was able to drink, or I am able to drink now. Um, but, yeah, fun fact, I don't actually drink alcohol like that. Maybe I'll take a sip here and there. But, yeah, me personally, I tend to stay away from alcohol and stuff like that because that's just not for me. In 2022, I was able to get all A's for the first time in my life. During the spring semester of college, I was able to get all A's and I've never gotten all A's in my life so I could finally proudly say that I'm an Asian, I'm not a Bijan. And this year, I have also was able to create and make a lot of new friends and just meet a lot of new people and hopefully I can continue to meet more people and make more connections and build on my connections that I've already made next year in 2023 because I'm really trying to make 2023 a great year and I'm just trying to make my dreams a reality. So the one thing I'll definitely say that I've been stressed about the most this year has been money. I always want more money because I felt like if I had more money, I could be happier. And I know the, the saying that money doesn't buy you happiness, but the reason why I feel like it does sometimes is because if I had money, I wouldn't have to worry about a lot of things. Um, but also, I do understand where they're coming from. But yeah, definitely for me, my stress was money. Worry about what money I would get or how much money I had. It's just because the reason why I worry about money is because I see my YouTube channel as a business and in order for a successful business, you have to put money into that business. So basically what I'm trying to say is that I need money so I can put my money into videos so I can make better videos for y'all. So with that being said, y'all should go down, subscribe, get my watch hours up and help a boy out. But with that being said, my overall year of 2022, definitely, not gonna lie, feels like every other year. Um, there's just a lot of learning, a lot of growth, um, a lot of new friends, a lot of new things, new chapters open, doors open, doors closes. Um, yeah, but basically 2022, you know, it was cool, but I'm ready to make 2023 my year. But the last thing I have to say about 2022, you guys are probably wondering this too, what video was my favorite video to film or edit? Um, and yeah, I've uploaded and created so many different type of videos this year. Um, it's really very hard to pick one, but I think the two that stand out the most to me are the two vlogs that I had when I went on my vacations, the Hilton Head vlog and then my Thanksgiving cruise vlog. I think those two were my favorite videos just because I was able to spend time with friends and family and just create memories and I was able to capture it so I could always go back and look at those videos and be like, damn. I miss those times when I was on the beach or the cruise and stuff like that. I would definitely say I enjoy vlogs just because I get to see what I was doing in my life in the past. But with that being said, we are going on to the future and to 2023, and we are going to be talking about my plans for 2023. So as of right now, my plan is to get a whiteboard, and with that whiteboard, I plan on writing down my video ideas, with the days I'm gonna upload on my main channel, and I'm also going to just be having a schedule so I can follow that so I could stay on top of that and basically put more effort into my YouTube channel, my business. And also with that being said, I'm going to be bringing back my gaming channel and that's gonna also be on the whiteboard, the ideas, the days I upload. The thing with the gaming channel is that I don't know how often I'm gonna upload because I know with gaming channels, you have to stay very consistent and low key, you have to upload every single day in order for yourself to grow. But that's probably not gonna be the case with me. I'm probably gonna have to upload either two times a week or once a week with my gaming channel. But with my gaming channel, I'm going to be trying to just make the best videos that I can for y'all. And y'all should stay tuned because I'm going to be filming an intro video for that very soon. Also in 2023, I will be graduating from college and I'll also be 
working a lot and also just grinding on this channel and also working in my job so I can get money so I can put money into these videos and then I'll also be moving out of this room right here and I don't know where I'll be moving to so y'all would definitely stay tuned with that I might either be moving back home with my parents or I might get a new apartment by myself and we'll just have to see where life takes me but yeah basically for 2023 my big plan is to put a lot more effort and money into my videos so I can make better content for y'all. I already have a lot of videos lined up that I want to do for y'all. So you guys just have to stay tuned um, for that because I'm not going to give any spoilers. And I also want to make more gaming videos because I'm not going to lie, I just miss gaming. And since I'm about to graduate and I have more free time, I feel like I have more time to game. And I'm also graduating next year and y'all definitely stay tuned for that. And yeah, it's a very, very scary and exciting time. Um, but I'll definitely say, you know, I felt like COVID has taken away so much from me my first few years of college. And I'm not going to let nothing else take nothing from me for my last year from college. So, yeah, with that being said, that's pretty much all I have for y'all today. I feel like I have nothing else left to say, but just to stay tuned because I'm hungry, I'm driven. And, yeah, 2023 is my year and I'll make my dreams a reality. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boys out.